So we're going to go into X Factor and utilize the leg loops on the neck and shoulders. It's really a great stretch for reducing the connection, the place where the traps and the neck meet, that intersection. It's also a little tricky to get into, so I'm going to demo it for the first one, and then we'll do it together, okay? So I'm going to start facing the wall so you can see the position on my back. The leg loop is going to go overhead, behind my back, both arms through like you're putting on a t-shirt, and then I push it down so it's below the boobs. It's kind of an important detail. So second side, we're going to put the swing behind my back, both arms through, and when I lean back, I push it down. When I lean back, there's going to be an X in front of me. Okay? You guys see that? Mm -hmm. Then the outer leg loop, I'm going to transition to the tops of my shoulders. So my elbow comes through, and then I lift these up. So this is when I get to place them exactly in a position that feels good. I want to make sure that there's no pressure on the C7 joint. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's below the C7 joint. We're not trying to put any pressure on the neck. Then I'm going to kick the swing forward and get my leg up there. I hold on to the outer leg loop for control, and I'm going to get both feet in the swing. From this position, I like to lean back, either arms overhead or chillaxing, pushing the back of my head into my hands to open up my chest. The amount of press with my hips determines the amount of pressure here, okay? If I want to be more relaxed, I drop the hips. If I want to be more active, I lift the hips. I'm going to bend the knees and slide in, which makes it a little bit easier, a little less weight. The more we bring the swing to the center line, the less weight our body has to support. And then it's nice to gently rock from side to side, fish tail. Let me just show you the rest of the sequence. I'm going to let the swing slide up to my bum, straight legs, feet touch down, and then this goes above your butt. So it has to be across the iliac crest, but not up to the kidneys, okay? So I'm pressing it away. I'm going to give it a little hop, bring my legs wide and around. That's a really challenging thing for a lot of people to do, so I'll come over and help them if they can't get there. And then I can pull myself straight up and down, right? So I'm adjusting the position of the leg loops. I can pull them apart and get them into a good place. So I call this love bug when we're pulling up into a ball, undulating the spine, inhale, arch, and press. So you're pressing your hips towards me. Exhale, sink down, inhale, arch. Okay, after we do a few rounds of that, then we're going to straighten the legs and bring the feet out wide to a V. Don't hook your feet on anything, just push them away. We don't want to get entangled with the carabiners or anything, I'm just pushing them away. Then I'm going to hold on to the outer leg loop once again, pull myself straight up and down, arching from the heart, and then this is the big squeeze, right? Because <laughs> you have all your weight now on the traps. It's really intense. We're going to just traction the neck by looking from one shoulder to the next. You can also try bringing ear to shoulder and playing in the space. If you do want to add a little bit more tractioning, you can use your hands. It's really not necessary. There's already so much pressure there. It's amazing. To come out of it, we're going to come out through girdle. I take this outer leg loop, I let it slide to my hips. I bend the knees, feet together and I'm in Peaceful Warrior. Ta-da! It's pretty miraculous that we can hang. So now it's like triple hooked, right? There's all this material here. You can kind of adjust it so it feels good on the back, and then this is going to be a great release through the lower body. From there, you can bring the legs wide and do all the leg stretches that we learned yesterday, which is really cool. You can come into a half lotus, practice that, stretching the hip flexors, Etc. When we want to come out, we're going to hold on to whatever we can reach. Wide straddle, bicep curl, sit up, balance, scissor kick down, and you're not going to be able to come into a full sumo. You're just going to hang out here. Catch your breath, find your balance, make sure you get a chance to acclimate and reset. Then we're going to give birth, come out through the center, 
<laughs> and unwind. <laughs> Let's try that again, okay? We'll do it together. If you have any trouble getting up, I'll come and help you. You might need to pop in and out of the swing when you're teaching this because some people do get entangled. I think I want to face this way so I can see you on upside down. Sure. And then also then I can see you in the mirror. Right okay. Down. Sure. Why don't, why don't you both go in the same direction then? Okay? Okay, great. So, swing goes, leg loop goes behind the back, underneath both arms, like you're putting on a t-shirt. So let the swing be in front of you, Jade. Standing at the back of the mat. Mm-hmm. And then second leg loop behind the back, arms thread through, and then make sure you're pushing them both down so they're below the boobs. <laughs> below the boob, boob line. Yeah. Great. Once they're both on, then when you lean back, you'll see an X. Hold onto the outer leg loop and get your elbow on the inside of that one and then transition it to the tops of your shoulders. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, from this position, we're going to kick, push the swing forward with your hands and kick up. So one leg and then both legs are going to go up there. I hold on to the outer leg loop for balance, and both ankles are in the swing. So I noticed this is a different way that yes. I'm going to do it. Is this is that doable for most people, or can that be really hard for people? It's pretty, I think it's easier. So this is, you find, generally an easier way than sitting in it sliding back. I it's do. complicated. Well, sure. yeah, I just find that if you're standing, you can kind of see the position of the leg loops better. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit more space. Right. And I found that people sitting in the swing, they, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, you can, you can teach it either way. I like this way. Yeah, I do too. I like starting with the harder version and then we can bend our knees, slide to the knees, and straighten the legs. So this is where we would wind so, up. So easy. Yeah. So now we're going to have straight legs still, push tail from side to side, either with chillaxin arms or arms extended overhead. The more you press your hips up, the more weight there's in, in the upper body and just feel that connection. Okay. So far, so good? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna lift my hips even higher, start to arch my back and bring my feet down towards the ground. So the swing will slide up to my bum. Right? Then I'm gonna reach back for the swing once it's up towards my bum. Now you have to get it over the booty. So it's gonna be across the, uh, along the iliac crest and then not so high that it pops up to the kidney. So we have to push it away once we get to the iliac crest, so above your butt. And you have to tell people 10 times, above your butt, because no matter how many times I say it, they still have it below their butt. <laughs> yeah. Keep going, above the butt. <laughs> Where's your butt? Then we have to play that game. Okay. <laughs> From there, we're going to kick up and around, so it's wide. So kick wide, and then hook your feet in front, all the way up, wide and around. You got it, yes, hook in front, hook. You can see how challenging that is. <laughs> Bring the bottoms of the feet together, yeah. And then let your arms dangle down towards the ground. Push your hips forward, yeah, yeah. So sometimes I'll hold on and pull and get these into a good position, outer leg loop. Just pull yourself straight up and down, yeah, good. And I put a shirt on because it slides a little better. If it's on the skin, you can feel it gets a little sticky and it can pinch. Okay, so then we're gonna come into love bug where we curl up into like a little bug. <laughs> and then we're gonna arch and open, press your hips forward, head points down towards the ground when we lift the hips, so keep pressing. Yeah. Exhale, curl in, look towards your navel. And then inhale, expand. Use your breath. Exhale, curl in. Inhaling, expand. Usually I like to stay here for quite a while. You can play with a little side-to-side -side movement, which is pretty amazing. I'm just pushing 
one chin in and then the other, getting a twist. So cool. Then I'm going to extend the legs wide into a V. Wide, don't hook your feet. Yeah, wide into a V. Sometimes people will get their little toes caught in that carabiner. Not the best feeling. Now I'm going to reach for the outer leg loop and I'm going to pull myself straight up and down. So arch and pull yourself straight up and down. There you go. Awesome. Then the hands can dangle towards the floor. Legs are wide, feet are pointing towards the sky if you can. Straight up and down. What would that look like? Where are your feet? Where's the sky? Let's mm -hmm. try and find it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'll see people at the end of that. Yeah. Do this, but I don't know what cue to give them to get more straight up and down. <laughs> it's just part of the magic program. That's the magic but, and Jane. Yeah. So point, dangle your hands towards the floor. Yeah. Push your pelvis. It's on the collarbone. Well, again, if you had a little shirt on, it would slide and it would feel a little better, but that's okay. You'll just have to trust me. All right, we're not going to stay here forever. Just look over one shoulder. Look wow. over the other shoulder. Right? I've done that. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. That's all you need to do. Turn the head. Hmm? Jane, you can also pull those apart more so they're more sitting closer to the shoulder because it's up near the C7 joint. Yeah, that'll feel better. Awesome. Let's all drop our hips. Keep everything as is, just drop your hips. Transition the leg loops to your waist. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're just like, sweet Jesus. And then bend the knees out to the side, feet together. Can your feet touch the touch the leg loops? Yeah. So that's how you're straight up and down, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of arched. Do the knees be behind the leg loops? Yep. Yeah, just if you bend them out to the side, it'll be in the perfect position. Yeah. And like so now we're in peaceful warrior. But you call this girdle. girdle. Yeah. And I so I this is awesome because I, I can't. Nobody can do the other going yeah. forward into girdle. Yeah. So. Yeah. There's another acrobatic girdle. We're doing the therapeutic girdle, which is <sighs> nice. It's a totally different pose, but we're calling it girdle. Oh, so because usually you're going over forward, so it's wrapping around here. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good job. <laughs> yeah. This one feels really good. It's nice and easy. Again, all the positions that we do in our intermediate training we can do here so let's bring our legs wide unfurl the feet and come through our leg stretches we won't stay here forever but just try grabbing for your toes or the back of the knees or wherever you can reach exciting there you go so you got to tuck through the pelvis really good jay does that feel different all right let's bring your feet together holding on to the ankles or the outer edge of the feet and arch it open butterfly Let's leave our right foot where it is. Bring the left foot back behind you for our half lotus. Okay, just holding on with one hand at this point. The other hand can come down. You can reach back behind you, but just let it be easy. To transition, we're going to bring that leg wide and around. Toes touch. Leave the left leg there, and the right leg can transition back behind you. So half lotus is a half bow. Bow pose on one side. <sighs> Open it up. So what I usually do is just keep the foot back there, holding on to the swing or whatever you can reach. Then you can bring your other foot down. Just scissor down. Lift. Oh my god. So you're gonna stay in your sumo or some version of it. Don't pop up yet. You're not gonna get out because you're <laughs> you're all intertwined. But just take a moment to feel like what happened. Things should be tingling and expanding and pulsing in a very interesting way. But this feels really good too. This yeah. This is fun. Wow. Yeah. The more material we have underneath us, the less pressure 
or pinchy. So when, when everything is doubled up, it usually feels a little better for people. So unfurl, you just have to come through the center of the X to come on out and you'll come to stand. Mm. 